So what I want to show you is uh, written a streamer in Python that's um, actually going to take graphs from network X and stream them in real time to Gephi. So let's just go over here. What I've done uh, is written a little streaming program here using JSON. Um, uses the uh, JSON API to uh, Gephi. Here you see in this section right here, I'm going to basically call up a network X graph, iterate through that, um, build another graph through the JSON interface to Gephi, display that with some filters, um, sleep for 10 seconds, and basically clean up the graph and regenerate another one. So let's uh, go ahead and try that out. Let's go over here. Um, first we've got to make sure we have the screening server on. It's not on, so here we can come over here and start that up. Uh, I'm going to come over here. Let's basically start our streaming program. You see now it's streaming in, but what we need to do is add a few things here. Let's do a layout. Let's do a force atlas layout. Let's go ahead and run this. Uh, it doesn't really look that interesting, so let's add some filtering. Let's add a degree filter. Let it apply that. Um, let's add a filter for size. 2 to 20, that looks about right. Go ahead and apply that. Now let's, let's zoom in a little bit on our graph. Uh, you can see now we're generating one about every 10 seconds. It's already laying out with the Force Atlas. This is Bar Barbasi Albert graph model. So it's a power law model. It's pretty cool. Let me just show this a few more times. I can kind of get the idea of what's going on here. It's fascinating because I'm sort of blending two tools here together. So I've got Network X running its uh, stuff, piping that back into Gephi, which is then doing some of its own filtering layout. Um, hopefully. We can figure out how to do some of the statistics in real time. We could either, we could either do those from Network X or do them actually in Gephi, so it might be actually faster to do those in Network X.